what's going on everybody hope you're good it's ollie uh, back with a different video it's like two videos in one day um but we've got super fast internet so we're kind of leveraging on that um i wanted to jump in and do another video because now i'm at manufacturing um and no one's here manufacturing everything's finished for the day because manufacturing runs 6 a.m till 2 p.m and um we're here just to do some bits and pieces we're actually loading up as well uh, for tomorrow's run so that's quite cool so it was kind of like everything going on at the same point doing some photos in another room doing some bits and pieces and stuff um, but just uh, to provide a bit more context into the manufacturing of the tubs and things like that for you guys to show you sort of what it is that goes into making the tubs and stuff I wanted to come in and do a video to show you that um, I haven't been up here for quite a while and I wanted to make something uh, put up on YouTube and go through it so I'm going to flip the camera around and go over different bits and pieces of what we've got here and kind of explain what's what. So this room is where we lay up and we have the moulds which we create ourselves and then it gets hand laid on with the GRP resin gel coat that you can see. This is actually a mould for a panel um, which is currently been laid up there hasn't been any fiberglass on it so this is purely like the first part of the process that we go through um, this is another panel mold here this one is just for the side and this one is for a half um, we haven't got three sided panels yet but that's what i'm really trying to grab so that the tubs that sit just in the middle of a room are going to be able to um have a three-sided panel i'm hoping to get that pretty soon but we are in the process of doing custom uh tub sizes again that's the outside so that's, you don't ever see that part obviously that's just the part of the actual mold itself so but the molds are handmade the tubs are handmade uh we've got different tubs that are just in different parts of the process here this one i think is going to be a second i have got some seconds and quickly i am going to have launch on the site really soon a second section which is going to have essentially a video of me on each of the products videoing going through the whole piece because there are people who want to use the tubs for different purposes not everybody wants to buy a deep soaking tub to put in their bathroom some people want to use it for different purposes just in and around the property and sometimes people um, are going to do different things with it so there might be like a damage point on one of the tubs but actually it doesn't matter because the customer wants to undermount the whole thing, you know? And we don't usually get them, but if I do ever get them, then I'm gonna have a second section on the site and I'm gonna launch that really soon. So that will be up probably latest by the end of this week. So if you're watching this after the fact, it's the 24th of August, there's probably a second section on the site. I just thought I'd say that quick. Back to this, that one there, it's been trimmed. So that's a trim mark on a tub on a solo extra and I think it's been trimmed on this side too yeah it has so you can see there that there's no flange going down so that's the side piece there and then this one here nothing there so it's been trimmed to be a shorter size and then something's happened and I don't know what because I'm not at manufacturing obviously I'm at the second spot but that there is uh will be a second so there's lots of different reasons why there will be seconds. These tubs have, have been have, have been done, ready to come off the mold for final prep work, etc., and stuff like that. So that's what we go through afterwards uh, once we've done the fiberglassing process. So um, yeah, different tubs at different stages. Obviously, there's no over, there's no waste been drilled there, but you'll see it's part of the mold. So there you can see it's part of the mold that we created, and then we draw the waste paste in there for afterwards. So that's pretty cool. Um, different tubs at different stages, as I said, they're pretty much, all of the tubs here pretty much can come off the mould, ready to go into the stock area at the back, which I'll go through in a minute. Um, this tub has freshly come off and is currently drying off, ready for tomorrow's manufacturing part to be finished up. Obviously, you can see there, that's not marks on the tub, that's just where it needs polishing out once it's come off the mould and stuff as part of the manufacturing process. That's a Duo Ultra. So that, that there like, is just how big a Duo Ultra actually is it's a super super big space super big tub and really good uh if you have a really big space so that's kind of that part and then through here we have the fiberglass section so as you can see oh don't mind this this is just the massive deep 
plunge that we're making at the moment. Still in the manufacturing process, obviously, but this is a custom size that we've made. It's 82.5 wide, 115 long, and 120 deep. But, like, that's carnage. Look at that, that's Tiger. That, that is on a pallet, obviously it's raised because we're moving it, just done some nice photos. That's a custom job. And it won't look anything like this when it's done. We'll shoot it properly when it is, but that's an example of a custom mold and the work that goes into making a custom size. So on custom sizes, we've got two different pricing structures, two different pricing points. Um, the first pricing point is if it's a size that we would look to use ourselves to have as an extra model moving forward, it's one price. An example of that would be something like a 1250 by 1250, and then 1150 by 1150, um, 1400 by 750, 1400 by 800, 1600 by 800, 1600 by 750, and if they were all 600 deep, that would kind of be a, that first price tier. It's a lower price tier. Something like that is the other price tier because we're not gonna have ourselves with um, a 1200 deep tub. This is a plunge pool, 1200 deep, 82.5 wide. I actually thought you might have took a picture of me whilst doing it. Yeah. I thought it'd be quite good, no? <laughs> just going live <laughs> um yeah that's the other price point basically so the two different price points we can make anything really um and we'll be able to get it to you as well because we use our own truck but that's the that's the way the price points work so if it's a 600 deep tub and if it's around the sort of size and parameters of what we've already worked with like a, a configurable of then we can do that um if you've got a size that is perfect for one of our tubs already that's great there's a as 12 that we've listed. Um, 11 that's been made, but 1800 by 1050 is coming. Um, if it's a size that we're close to, um, then of course it's, it's a much more uh, lower price because we'll reuse the mold size. So we're getting shots right now, just of manufacturing, which we're gonna use for the site because we've updated the site, it's nearly all finished. Um, this is another Duo Ultra being made. I did say recently, they are super popular. A lot of people do purchase them. Um, so essentially there are different phases. This one here is just the pre-mold phase on the feet. See that there? Look? So a good shot there for the underside of the base of the tub to show you that extra baseboard because like that's the extra reinforcement piece in there that makes it super solid. No creaking, no messing around when you stood on the tub. And then you can see the sunk out piece for the waist underneath. And obviously that there. Sorry if it's flickering, it's just to do with the frame rate, but and the lights we've got in there. But um that will be cut out obviously as the waste point on there. So that's after it's been sprayed and that's before it's been sprayed. So that's just on the gel coat phase before before anything else happens. That's the, first, that's the end of the first phase and that'll be dried off by tomorrow ready for spraying up. And then that there is after it's been sprayed up. So loads of different times of the build process that we go through. This is after we've done all of the other bits and pieces that we go through. As I said, this one's come off and needs polishing. So that's sorted. How deep that is. <laughs> right, so when we go into the packaging place for orders to dispatch, these will get loaded to go out for tomorrow. So that's great. We've got all the stock stuff of all the other bits and pieces that we handle elsewhere. And then out here is for orders to be dispatched. This is for items that are pending dispatch from orders that have been placed. We do do trade orders, we do do commercial projects, we do ship out a lot of tubs. Business addresses, we do ship internationally. International shipping is on POA right now purely because the price of shipping fluctuates literally daily. It's crazy. Anything outside of UK mainland is on a daily POA. So if there's any, any projects that you want and you're ready to place an order and you want a price for the shipping, just let me know and I can help you with that. It really does depend on the day, which sounds crazy, but we've had prices literally go like this recently. So I'll be able to advise you if it's on a good point or not so good point, but it is restricted literally on the day right now. Um, 
It's like internationals go out all the time. Internationals get shipped from the other location though because we're there for a lot longer than what manufacturing hours are. So we do that from there. Um, so yeah, uh, like all of the tubs are here. We've always got stock in white pretty much ready to go if wanted because we're always making more tubs all the time. So if it's commercial orders and larger quantity numbers, we can help you with that. Not a problem at all. Uh, just reach out and we can help. So it's kind of like the whole process that we go through here um, and then obviously get delivered to yourself. And shipping is either on a pallet network, which is like a shorter per time frame period, but it's only curbside because that's all that they do. Um, and that can be done in a much shorter time frame. Our shipping were suggesting to allow maybe up to three weeks total turnaround time to, from place of order to delivery, depending on our runs and space on the truck. Because if there's space on the van, then we can put the load on. But if there's not, then obviously you have to wait till the next one. That's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I'll be back making more videos really soon. I just wanted to drop in and make this uh, to put up just to give you a bit more of an understanding on where we're at right now as a business in terms of what we're doing. Um, there's other sides to the company as well, which, which which we do up here, like the frame side of things, the jet side of things, everything else that gets put done here. Um, so it's like a full on operation that we're working on. Um, and yeah, any questions you ever get, you can reach out to us on Instagram. No, you can't actually, because we got blocked at the minute. Not Instagram, WhatsApp you can, uh, Facebook, Twitter, live chat, phone, message, however you want to reach out, more than happy to help. And yeah, I'll keep making these videos. If there are any questions you get or any videos in particular you want me to make, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make them. I'll see you later on. Cheers, guys.